Hello everyone this is Ultimate Public Entertainment. When you're trying to shop and a Karen approaches you from who knows where trying to tell you about the rules of the store. Take a look at this. But how 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 do this dog body is it's, it's so yeah, little no, it go shop. Yeah. No, cuz you will bring it in the store and people oh, don't no. follow the rules. Yes, it bothers me. Good. Go. I mean right there. Service animals welcome. That's a pet. No yeah, pets my, allowed in the carts. My, my dog is rested in everything. Where are the papers? Hey, guess what? You should have it restrained. And see? No pets animals. Animal welcome. In Good. Carts. That's a cart. Great. Go inside. Go find the manager. Go find someone who cares. Oh, right. Why? Why? Why today? Yeah, you, 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 you choose. You choose. You choose me. Cares. You, my dog goes everywhere. Been in Walmart, no. all type of places. I know because like I said people do not enforce that rule. That's why I okay. suffer. Why? Why? I why? The police, but I don't have to Look, go do it. Why are you so mad? What's, nobody what's going cares on? Because nobody cares. Nobody. Well, that's like, you have a child. I don't care. Then. Heart. We're we're not allowed to really say any of that. Now, if you want to call our corporate office, I do all the time, and they said that yes, that this should have been enforced. I called and spoke with them, and they said yes, if the dog was in the park, mm -hmm. then it shouldn't have been allowed in the store. And it should have what's his name, Matt or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who knows? Okay. I called the police before, and mm -hmm. she said she feared for her life. What's it's her? not restrained. If you jump out of the car, it's not restrained, and it's in the car, which is not supposed to be. I'm allergic. Wait, I suffer. I have paperwork. You better go back inside to shop. I'll get yeah. the paperwork to the doctor. Go inside to shop, man. Yeah, I don't know what she's talking about. She's sweet. Karen really needs to go about her own business and stop trying to be the store manager. This is a perfect example of why people are quitting their retail jobs or they simply do not want to work retail. Take a look at this. What happened? I mean, you talk to somebody else. Yeah, that's okay. You can either get me cooked bacon oh, or... What's your problem? She, I, I asked her to put it in a toaster oven. This bacon is not cooked. I put it in an oven like... Okay, well, see, you, you figure it out. You figure out what to do. You don't get an attitude with me. You put it back in the... Go okay, ahead, go I'm ahead, because this is going to be all like, on social media. We're kind of... I asked for a club sandwich with bacon. Is that... Well, that's why you're working that's why you're always going to be working for other people yep. exactly you know that right you need to wipe that off your mouth that's you thank you for telling me you're so welcome you're welcome you're a little ignorant you're very ignorant and you're really bad for business yeah. you're really bad for business mm -hmm. that's okay i'm gonna I'm let the little african dude to know i don't care okay it's gonna be all on talk, social media i'm gonna talk to you crazy okay well keep talking okay keep okay. talking okay. that's why you're gonna be at subway for the rest of your goddamn life with an attitude if like I that choose to stay at subway, that's because you're a, yeah losers stay they work for people yeah. and then you're not myself Girl, myself I mean, that's gonna be you going to jail. No, it's nothing. You said you don't put your hands on me. What you gonna do? Girl, get on my face. Drag, girl. Who gonna get dragged? Girl, girl. That's right. That's right. You better stay calm. You better stay calm behind there. You better stay calm there. You better stay calm, little girl. Girl, I'll show you what to do, girl. Okay, do it. Do it. Catch me at 10. No, you can catch me right now. No, you can catch me. You can catch me right now. You can catch me right now. It's okay. Have enough common sense to know to cook bacon for your sandwich. What can I give you? What can I you, do for you? Better training, better training. You, you can have a, like a meeting on the weekends several, and be like, "This is meetings. what." Well, Not then bad. maybe new new Not employees, bad. new employees. Exactly. Okay. Well, I mean, but you. I mean, so I don't. You know, only thing I wanted to do is just not take it to corporate owned because I only shop black owned and I did not want to want, want to get anybody in trouble. But since I don't get apology or anything, it's pretty much like you're blaming it on me because you aren't managing your employees. I'm not blaming correctly. Natalie. I just agree with you that they should have gave you bacon. But I mean, I'm not blaming it on you or nobody else. What I'm trying to get you to see is you're like twice as old as my daughter. At well, that I didn't. It didn't, it didn't matter if she was your daughter. I don't care what employee you I was. You I'm not just telling you your, that because you my daughter. She's a daughter. kid and grown up. I don't argue with you. I don't. That customer was out of line. She was so condescending. That was uncalled for. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. This is a perfect example of how an unruly passenger should be treated on a public bus by the bus driver. Take a look at this. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? 
Are you the first station? Can you hear me? Are you the first station? And what if I am? Because my brother's oh, are your too sons. Oh, too bad. My, my sons are your brothers. You want, oh, you want off the bus? You? Get off the bus. You don't want get to off the bus or I'll get the cops to get you off this bus. Get off the bus. You're making other passengers angry and upset. Stop it. No, you're the one. Stop it. One. No, I'm but, not getting upset. Yes, I, I've just seen another passenger come up and ask you to be quiet. Yeah. We don't all want to listen to you, okay? No, we don't have a right to listen to you. You, you have... keep what you think to yourself. No, that's not no, right. No, you don't need to I be yelling at through my butt. I'm not yelling. Yes, you I'm are. If I can hear you through all my fans, you're yelling. Baloney you're baloney. yelling. Okay, you want to talk to me? You want security to get you off my bus? Yes, I can call them. Yes, get off. Get your stuff and get off. Wow. Catch the next one. Wow. The bus driver rocks. She should be commended. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. You won't believe the reason why this Karen here called the cops on a woman of color Instacarting in her neighborhood. Take a look at this. I don't have to explain anything to you, though. You're not, you're not my boss. You're not the police. So there's no explanation for me. Just because you live here does not mean I have to. But you're not. I don't have to explain that to you because I'm, I'm delivering to him. So that has nothing to do with you. It doesn't matter. It is. That's why. It doesn't matter. Well, Instacart took me here, so that's why I came. And you could have went around, so it doesn't matter. I don't have to say anything to you because who are you? I'm a homeowner. Okay, but you're not my boss, and I'm not recording. I'm not listening. I'm not doing anything to you, so I don't have to say anything to you. Right, and that's where you should be. Exactly. I would like to know who you called though. I called the police. Okay, are they coming? Yes, they are. Okay, great. I'm glad that they're coming. I'll wait. You, I, I was honking at you. you never and I told you to go around me because obviously I was waiting. Yes, I did. I said go around because you knew what you were doing. So, okay, well, I know what I did. I know what I did. I know what I did. So, you had no right to follow me. And you had no right to stay here, but this is not, you are not the police. So you have no right to follow me. You're not, you harassing me. You're harassing me. You're harassing me. Yes, you are. You sat here and followed me and watched me and waited for me to get these groceries out the door. No. Okay, well. Yes, you are harassing me. Yes, you are. And I have it all on camera because you sat here and waited and followed me around the corner and waited for me. So, but that doesn't give you the right to follow me. That doesn't give you the right to follow me and sit here and watch me. I was on the phone with the police. Yeah, okay. Well, let the police come. That, yeah, no, it's and she just acts like she's the homeowner of police. Like, said, so this is ridiculous. That, that's the whole, that's the main this is ridiculous. She acts like she's just the homeowner of police. Like, she just is supposed to be the security over here. This is ridiculous. I look suspicious. Hmm? Now, watch her try to deny her saying that. You're not the police, so you can't follow me and ask me questions. 
I don't care what you say, homeowner or not. You can't, I came here for him, not you. So you can't follow me and you can't sit here and watch me while I'm sitting here waiting. So it's okay. And I'm suspicious. Because I'm suspicious. It's because I'm black. It's okay, though. We can say that. It's okay. It's all right. Yes, it is. Because if a white person would have came behind you, it would have been fine because you thought they were a homeowner. No. Yeah. But it's cool. It's all right. I'm suspicious, like you said. So it's cool. It's whatever. But I will be waiting for the police. After the cops came, they had a conversation with an Instacart woman. She requested that charges be filed against Karen. Her request was denied, though. She will be going ahead to the department to file a complaint against the police officers. Karen is upset that a UPS driver parked in her so-called parking spot. Take a look at this. Y'all see this? She backed up into this parking spot to block me in. Crazy lady. Crazy lady, hi. But you gotta know who it is. <laughs> and I'll let them know how you put You will, because you parked in front of me, so we have cameras, sweetie. When cameras show and that I you almost hit me, and I said, can I please make a delivery? You could have had some patience, sweetie. Keep going. You could have had some patience, sweetie. You could have had some patience. You could have had some patience. You're done. <laughs> You're done. FYI, the UPS driver was actually parked on the city road, not the so-called parking spot for Karen. Unbelievable. Whose side are you on on this one? Take a look at this drama. Come fix her car. Oh, that's what you're doing? Yes. Did Don't you scare her. Nobody is scared her. Don't tell me that. I got called yes, he. here because yes, he. you're scared yes, he. Hold on. Out of her. Hold on. Hold on. I knocked the door. Yeah, that's right. That does not mean to scare her. No, it does mean it scared okay? her. I'm not scared her. I knocked at the door. Why am I here? And you come, you think ask I'm me this up? what I wanted. Something. Why I knock in the door? What's your name, son? Door, son, what's, what's your, your name? name? Vito. Well, what's your police badge? Are you still? You're not even on the force right now, are you? No, I'm on. I'm law enforcement. I'm are you still on the force? Are you still home. on the force? What's your badge number? Okay, you're not on the force then. You mean go get my badge? Bitch? Yes, go get your badge. Walk Don't out, get your walk badge. Away. Well, am I supposed to be scared of you? You're, you're, you're law enforcement. If you're law enforcement, you, want you have the right to show your badge. You that's why you're shaking. Her property. No, and we're not I'm on shaking. the property. We're not on that property. We're you over standing here. right here on the property, right. dude. You're standing right there on our property, ma'am. And the owner. I'm working on this house you're for not three years. The owner is you're fine scaring with her. Yes. I knock in the door I know, to ask him. Her. Okay, but it's not my intention. We're out here still. Didn't okay. Her no way. Nothing. Yes, he. She's scared of death. No one talked to her. We talked to her. Yes, he. I don't care. No one. I knocked the door because okay. I needed permission okay. you're to leave you're my trial. Your employer called but, child, us man. over here. Your employer, Gonzo, called he my called husband. Me. Because well, she she he called me. Because he knows I'm law enforcement. Because he don't know. Hey, excuse me. He don't know who. Five who knocked in yes. the door? Because he was just on the phone with him. I talked to him uh, already. Okay, well, you didn't talk okay. to him before you were knocking on the door, though. Yeah. Because he was letting her know that we're still out he here. He wasn't letting her know anything. Nigga, but you don't know. Okay, come ass. talk to, Nigga, to don't me. Nigga, you Long boy. To okay, and? If he's a police. Want to be police, police, man? You're not on the police force right now. If you were, better. you would have a badge. You, know? you have a badge. You're going to tell him about it. I'm not going to leave here. You try to scare women? Scare women? Yeah. Scare women? No one's scared nobody. Was, you like no one's scared You're over about. there shaking. <laughs> scary women. Nobody. Well, he, I don't care about nothing. He did scare her. That's the thing. We knock on the door to I let know her know. I scared her, and Gonzo called us, and we came over. Mm-hmm. And mm -hmm. in the way, you, how do you, whenever you're dealing with someone, you show respect? I think they should have called the cops to verify if Karen here is a legit cop. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Finally, for this video, we've got a Karen freaking out over Hungry Jack's burger. Take a look at this. What a pork belly the deluxe looks like on the TV. All your foes are out the front there for that matter. Disgusting is what it was. It's all fat. It's got this much pork in the middle underneath the tomato. Because the second charge you had, the second one, well, first one wasn't bad enough. The second 
one came back from the microwave. Thirteen dollars and whatever cents. I don't care what to say. Nine dollars. I'm going to bring out the big guts here. I'm going to love this. No one cares. I don't care what you're saying, pal. And just for you, I might hold you up a little bit more. I don't, I've got nowhere to be. I've got nowhere to be. I'll speak to anybody how I like. It's my day, I'll be dummy. I'll do one of those the things that's not like this. If I had my camera, I'd take a picture and I'd sue you for it. How's that great? Right? I'm not going to listen to you. Oh, you're not going to listen to me. Get out of the drive through. What do you need to do last night, I have asked you nicely. I asked nicely for the pork belly. I asked nicely for the second pork belly. Yeah. If you think that I'm going to ask you nicely for a third one, you got another thing coming. And I'm a swearer. I haven't sworn at you yet. If you watch this video to the end, please do not forget to indicate in the comment section. No one cares, Karen. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.